hey all welcome and welcome back to my channel i hope you are doing good okay uh, so let me give you a brief overview of what we have done uh, so it's been about two weeks that i started this integration playlist and uh, i have already done inbound uh, rest integration which includes like uh, default api table api methods and uh, scripted rest apis all the methods with uh, you know positive and negative testing and all the pdfs of everything and also uh, authentications i have completed basic auth and auth and we already moved to soap since the last video we already moved to soap integration soap service now integration and we already covered default methods same process we will follow here also we will cover default and then scripted so we already covered default you can check out the links in the i tab it would be of the previous video right hand side so so default methods we already covered like get put uh, get update insert uh, delete get multiple and all these things we covered already so from today we are going to begin like scripted soap service and i am taking a basic requirement today. like basic requirement uh, like uh, uh, we will give a user uh, as input user society because you know it is a reference field in uh, most of places so that will be best we will give uh, user society as input and we will get all the groups that uh, in which the user is and if uh, the user is not in any groups we need to return result like user does not exist yeah i mean so user is not added in any groups and if the society is of the incorrect it means the society of the user that we have provided is incorrect and the user does not exist then also we need to show error means it should have complete error handling also and result is there input validation is there so yeah same process we are going to a to follow a to z okay oh, let's just begin and this is a basic requirement which uh, you may be asked because in rest also you are asked most of the time so soap also we need to consider okay uh, i already told you about how the wsdl format is it is https your instance uh, instance names or service now dot com dot two question mark wsdl and this 2k the whatever is before do is your uh, you know scripted web service name in default it is incident it is change whatever table name you take in default table apis it is that and in scripted web service whatever name you give here it will be that okay so i am giving the name like get groups okay and method also i will give uh, like uh, get groups only yeah this method will be created once you know we authenticate you will see you will see later okay so first first let's just see what and in this also we need to create input and output parameters like we had input methods there right path parameters query parameters and you know request body in the rest side we had these three methods here we only have one that is input parameter and whatever input you want whatever inputs you want to give you need to pass them here so i will be using user and uh, i will have to give uh, groups as output then first i will create groups or group list rather okay hundred. its order is 100 and if the if user is not added in any group or if the user is incorrect user society is incorrect then it will populate in result okay like a result variable output variable i am creating and its order is 200 okay yeah so first first we will check uh, like if uh, the society that of the user we have provided it is correct or not so we will just be passing request and check user so if uh, the user society is correct that's fine but if the user society is not correct then we need to set response output parameter name clearly written here so what is our output parameter name it's result like i said if it is not then in result we will populate yeah and then we will return from here because this whole function will end okay and if the user exists then we will go and set the response and i'll just be passing response here 
and request also I'll be passing such that you will have access to you know the user variable and all the response variables okay yeah so now let's create the function that is check user and request so what we will do that user is equal to request again same we need to do uh, it will be like input parameter name so now we will check in user table As I said, it is used mostly as a reference field, so I will pass this ID and that will be user dot query. Now, if user dot has next, so if the user exists, then we will pass true. If the user does not exist, then we will pass false. In other cases, we will pass false. Next, we need to set response. Yeah, we got two parameters from above let's just check once okay they can be I pass this when I request a response yeah hmm it should be good okay so now now again I will fetch where user is equals to request dot user then then what we will do for getting the groups, we will glide in sys user gr member table. Let me just show you. This it is having. Okay, so uh, this is the table. It is there. Now, what we will do? Like group dot add query. What we will pass again? User user is the field. In there, I will pass user and uh, grp dot query now again we will check so if user is added in any groups that's fine but if user is not added in any group then we will need to pass error right or we will need to pass the result like user is not added in any group Um, let's create another variable like groups because there can be many groups so I will store it in a variable okay so if grp dot has next then what we will do while grp dot next then what we will do we will add in this groups variable what we will add we will add all the group dot name dot to the string and we will separate it by comma then what we will do we will set the response dot group list is equals to groups so we have already set the response and yeah we should be good I hope there is no typo anywhere hmm. okay let's just save it and check so this is our WSDL that is finally created. Now we need to create a new again. We'll create a project name like user groups. Okay. WSDL I'll pass this one and create request. Yes. So what it will do? It will fetch all the methods from whatever we have created. So first it will authenticate. User also I created yesterday only like in the past video. Uh, it would be flashing in the top right corner. You can check that what access we have given for this user. Okay. Yeah, then now this is the get groups. This is the get groups method that we created here. C function name. Get groups. That's what get groups is here. Okay. Now we need to pass to run this request also we need to pass here. Okay. Username and password. So soap user. Password. Now we need to give user first. Open this user and copy the SSID and see okay it has sent it okay 200 okay hmm. so you see we got itsm app dev which is the group in which the user is 
ideas and app dev okay now next uh, let's take some user who is having more than one number of groups to his name uh, okay let's take david lu let's copy this id send the request yeah so we got one two three four five six seven seven all the seven groups we got now let's give us a society which is incorrect okay like we already tested that but still so ch please check if user exists okay so now let's let's just remove all his groups okay and then uh, what it will be it will be like checking the case where user is not added in any group okay copy this society again mm -hmm. right. user is not added in any group okay so that is it i think uh, we are done with the testing and the scripted uh, service that i created now please uh, please 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 like share and subscribe if you are new to the channel or please uh, you have if you have already been watching kindly kindly share share with your team share with your community and please please let me know your feedbacks let me know your suggestions and let me know if you need queries down in the comment section and also in the linkedin if you can reach out to me okay so that is it bye bye